Hi, good afternoon. Um, so I'm I'm in the process, or I've, I've gone through and actually replied to a whole bunch of different emails of students asking uh, which cases would be permissible for the dissenting opinion essay. And so I wanna make something clear, um, just so that we're not, there's no confusion and you understand what, what I'm actually asking for uh, in the assignment. Uh, what I would like for you to write is a dissenting opinion. And that means that you need to tell me why the court was wrong. Um, this is just a personal philosophical thing. Uh, I personally believe that dissenting opinions are uh, arguably the most singularly important concept that exists in a democracy. Okay? Um, and what I mean when I say that is that if you do not have dissenting opinion, you don't have real democracy. Um, if you only have one opinion and everybody is of the same opinion, you would have no idea of knowing whether or not that opinion was good. Um, and so I actually use the Supreme Court case when I illustrate this to my face-to-face -face students. Uh, I use the Supreme Court case Plessy versus Ferguson as the example. So Plessy versus Ferguson is a case decided in 1896 that said separate but equal is okay. It's, it's good, right? Uh, we can segregate. And one justice, uh, a justice named uh, Justice Harlan, uh, said, you know, I, I don't think that's right. I, I think that the Constitution is meant to be colorblind, right? That all men are created equal, that the 14th Amendment says we have due process and equal protection of the laws. And because we have equal protection, it has to apply equally to everybody and therefore segregation is not okay. Now, he was in the minority. He was the dissenting opinion. It was an eight to one Supreme Court case. But that was 1896. You fast forward uh, almost 60 years later and we get to Brown versus Board of Education in 1954 and the Supreme Court has now reversed itself. And it said, you know, that segregation thing that we did in Plessy versus Ferguson, that probably wasn't right. Um, so let's fix that. And so Brown versus Board of Education overturns Plessy versus Ferguson. What I want you to do is to write the dissenting opinion of a case decided from 1953 to the present. That means it needs to be under the Berger, Warren, Reinquist, or Roberts courts, right? So one of those four guys has to be the chief justice of the Supreme Court for whatever case you're deciding, okay? And then you are writing telling me why the court was wrong. So I've had a couple of you that have actually been like, can I write about Brown versus Board of Education? I'm okay with you writing about that. If you think that segregation is acceptable and legally, legally permissible and should be legally permissible, by all means, you can write about that case. I'm not here to evaluate your opinion. I'm here to evaluate how your opinion is based upon the Constitution, okay? Um, I believe that I have instructions already in D2L, hopefully on, um, on sort of the process of writing the paper. Um, I, I, I want footnotes rather than in-text citations. Um, although, I, I don't know, may, maybe, maybe I'm, I, here, here's what I ultimately want as far as that goes. I, I, I want something that is single spaced, Right? And it really shouldn't be more than two pages single-spaced. Okay? I don't want a title page. I don't want an abstract. Um, I, I prefer footnotes because if you do footnotes, then I don't need a bibliography because the bibliographical information uh, is at the bottom of the page in the footnote. Okay? Um, but that's, that's sort of what I'm looking for in the paper. Hopefully, I have an example paper up as well that I actually wrote myself. Now, I wrote it over a case from 1879, and I picked a case that old um, in order to ensure that uh, it wouldn't be a case that any one of you might want to write about. Uh, but ultimately, the case that I chose is a case about polygamy. Um, and I, I mean, I, obviously, I'm not well, maybe not obviously. I'm not polygamist. I, I have one wife. I can barely keep her happy. I'm not trying to have a second wife, right? Um, but I argue in my paper uh, that if, if we have, um, you know, freedom of religion, and my religion says uh, that I should have multiple wives, if my religion is a polygamist religion, and there are multiple religions that are polygamist religions, uh, free exercise of religions should, should supersede uh, any sort of governmental law that says I can only have one wife. 
right? Um, and that's sort of the crux of my paper. I'm looking at it from the constitutional aspect of freedom of religion, right? Um, that's essentially what I'm asking you to do, right? So if you take a case like, um, I don't know, uh, um, what is it, Frederick v. Morris, right, which is a free speech case, um, you know, you're, you're looking at what limitations are placed upon free speech. Um, same thing with Tinker versus Des Moines, right? But I've had a number of you that have asked about Brown versus Board of Education. I, I, I had somebody ask about Gideon v. Wainwright, right, which means that you somehow don't think that a Sixth Amendment right to an attorney is, is a constitutional protection. Um, I had people write about uh, right to asking if they can do Tinker versus Des Moines, uh, which means that you don't think you should be allowed to wear an armband to protest the Vietnam War during school hours. Uh, I had students pick uh, Miranda versus Arizona, which uh, would mean that you're arguing that you do not need to be notified of your rights by a, um, an arresting police officer. Um, but that's, that's the concept. Um, so I, I will approve those cases. Uh, I, I'm, personally, I could actually make an argument that Miranda versus Arizona is unconstitutional, right? That, that you don't, that no officer is required to tell you what your, your, your rights are. Uh, that is not in the Constitution. Um, we ought to just educate citizens that they're aware of what their rights are. Uh, so you can make constitutional arguments for a variety of these cases. Um, but I need you to understand that you're writing a dissenting opinion. Right? That also means that you cannot pick cases that have been overturned, right? Um, so for instance, Roe versus Wade was overturned with, uh, with Dobbs v. Jackson. So Roe versus Wade is off the table. A dissenting opinion on Roe versus Wade is really the majority opinion of Jackson v. Dobbs, right? Um, so that wouldn't be permissible. Um, granted, they're they're outside of the time frames, right? But somebody asked about uh, uh, the Dred Scott case, right? Scott v. Sanford, uh, which was decided prior to the Civil War. That that case is overturned with the Fourteenth Amendment. Um, somebody asked about Kor Korematsu versus the United States, which is a World War II case about uh, internment, U.S. concentration camps. Um, that case has been overturned. Um, so you're looking at, at, at cases that have not been overturned. That is a, a requirement. You have to be in the minority opinion currently as well, right? Um, if you're really struggling, um, I mean, I did have somebody... Uh, ask about, uh, you know, general death penalty stuff. Um, I, I tried to point them in the direction of a case that I thought maybe they would be interested in. Um, there's a variety of ways to go through that. If you're really struggling to find a case, um, let me know. I can try to help you out. Uh, give me an idea of what you're interested in, what you care about, what, um, what might be mildly entertaining for you to write about. I don't want you to, 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 to sort of, um, trudge through a thousand words of something that you really don't like and don't care about, um, uh, that would be tedious for you. Um, and ultimately it'll, it'll be a worse read for me. I want to read something that you're, you know, you're passionate about, that you care about, that matters to you. Um, so, uh, again, if you have questions, hopefully y'all have realized, I mean, I, I, I tried to reply to y'all as, as quickly as I could today. Um, as you were asking these questions about the specific cases. So hopefully this helps. Um, again, if you have questions, reach out. I'm always here to help. Um, so uh, good luck. Um, and, and make sure you look over uh, the rubric that's attached to the assignment so you have an idea of what I'm looking for as I'm grading it. Um, and uh, uh, I will verify that the sample paper and instructions are up there as well so that you, you sort of have an idea of what I'm looking for. All right, thank you.